hi guys welcome back to another tutorial it's a girl blessing and in this tutorial i'll be showing you how i make this beautiful diy bag okay so it this sounds like what you want to learn let's go right into the video okay these are the materials and the measurements already cut out i'll be showing you what i have on ground already just so this video is not too lengthy so for this i have eight inches by five inches which i already added my medium wording or breast part okay then for this other one this long one is um 20 inches in length okay 20 inches in length and the width is eight inches just as you're seeing it okay i'll still write out the measurement in description and also on the screen so for each of these we are having two pieces of them okay so all the measurements we have two pieces of them so for this other one the measurement is um 18 inches okay so i have 18 inches here for the length and for the width i have two inches we're going to be using this to make the scrunchie for the for the handle of the bag so for this other one okay this is what we are going to be folding to have that small like a bow around the handle okay so this one i have 12 inches by three inches okay i have two pieces of this as well then the last one okay this last one is long this is what we're going to use to make the scrunchie that's the handle all right so this is what we're going to use to pass through this longer one when we get there you understand better so for the length of this i have 28 inches by 4 inches okay you can see what i have here so all of these are two pieces each and i have different measurement of five individual measurement in five places of of two pieces each so now i'm going to place this with the right side facing each other and i'll sew by half an inch on both side then i'll pick this other one this long one that is 28 inches by 8 inches i'll sew the two side as well by half an inch then this other long part just one side of it i'll sew and i'll also do a gathers that will fit into the length of this i hope you understand so after that this is what we have i've sewn the two sides just like i explained earlier i've sewn the two sides of this as well and i've done the gathers for this and you can see that it fits into the measurement we have here okay good moving forward the next thing i want to do now is to pick this other part and fold into two like so this one is the one that is 28 inches by four inches so fold into two and turn it inside out you sew by half an inch and turn inside out so this is the piping we are going to use to pass through that one then for this other one that we that we have 12 inches by 3 inches i'm going to place them on each other like so then you want to make a curve at the end of it okay you're going to make a curve like this just to give it a nice shape towards the end the begin and the end of that one okay so i'm going to fold into two and so stop at the middle so the other side as well stop at the middle then i'll use that to turn it inside out so i'll go ahead and do that now so after sewing this is what i have so for that shorter piece which i cuffed the end this is what it looks like after turning it inside out and i've stitched the middle part that was used to turn it out so for that longer piece that is 28 inches by four this is it this is how it's going to look okay so I'm going to pass this other pipe into it and show you how it looks like. So for this other pipe, it was about 18 inches when we started the, um, the class. But now I reduced it. I reduced about 3 inches from it. Okay, so that we have 15 inches in length now. 
because I discovered that it was kind of too long and it did not make the scrunchie to be too to be full as much as I want so I had to reduce it so this is how you're going to pass it through the longer piece okay that's the one that is 15 inches in length now by 1.5 you pass it into the one that is 28 inches by 2 by 4 that we already fold into 2 so you're going to secure the one of the end like this using your needle then you continue to pass the rope inside it okay you continue to pass okay the more you pass it the more you have that um gathers and towards the handle okay or around the handle okay this is a brocade fabric and it's really really freeing so i'm just working with it with so much care so i'm going to go ahead and stitch the end just to secure all right so now the next thing we want to do is to pass in our handle firstly okay when i secured i centralized the joining so when central when you centralize the joining by the time you want to place on this one like this ensure that that joining is resting on the right side of the fabric okay ensure it rests on the right side of these other bodies we are joining it to ensure it's facing it okay so now i'm just measuring one inch away from the side joining of that one we had it wooden i'll measure one inch away then i'll place the handle like so for one part of it okay this is me just ensuring that the measurement is accurate then I'll flip it to the other side like so. Then I'll up, I'll I'll take the I'll take the other handle and place like so, ensuring that the two handle are matching equally. Then I'll pin down. Okay. Um, I'm ensuring that they are aligning equally. So that one does not shift aside than the other okay so i'm going to pin this is what we have as a first step so now we are going to pick this other one then you flip it in such a way that the right side of this bigger one is matching with the right side of that smaller part then you will ensure the side joining for the two also align you are picking the side joining together the side joining for the smaller piece and for the bigger piece will align then they should also be facing each other on the right side I hope you understand this just watch what I do so now we are going to be sewing this around and in sewing it around we are going to be pleating as you are sewing you are going to be pleating the bigger one around the smaller one okay you pleat until you exhaust the bigger one on the smaller one all right so you pleat each side for each side of the small so each side of, of the bigger one you pleat it for each side of the smaller piece i hope you understand okay so this is how it looks after sewing so just turn it out at once and this is almost ready guys almost ready almost ready almost ready okay so i'm just trying to show you what we have already okay so this is how it should look if you had follow my procedure okay you can see what we have so now i'm going to bring this out again so that we can finish up that end and to finish up you are going to fold it in like this then you clap it together okay now this wording is a medium wording which is quite thick a little okay so if your sewing machine cannot sew this to avoid breaking needles you can as well use your needle and thread to finish it up so for me i went ahead to use my needle and thread because when i was sewing when i was shooting this um or rather when i was filming this tutorial there was no light so i couldn't use the industrial machine so the manual machine i have cannot 
sew this to my satisfaction that's why i decided to use a um, needle and thread to finish it up just the way you see me do okay so this is how you keep on sewing until you get to the end of the other side ensure you secured properly all right so that your money will not enter <laughs> okay so this is how it should look by the time you're done sewing and voila you can see how neat it is don't forget to use a matching color thread please so that your work will look very neat so guys when we sew that um the part we added the handle and the smaller piece and the big piece together you see you discover that i did not top stitch reason because the one that has the wording is thick enough to drag in the one outside so it will definitely fall in place so this smaller piece is is what we are going to work on now we are going to tie it around one of the ando okay this is just a simple method if you have another if you if you like you can just make a bow and tack around it if, if you like you can make a flower and tack around it just be creative about it but basically this is how i achieved the bag and it looks so beautiful okay so I hope you like this and you like to recreate it so for the opening you can see you can fix or put whatever you want to save in it and that middle part just attach your press button and we are done so this was how I rocked this bag for an occasion you can see how beautiful it's looking on me thank you so much guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye